Hey everybody, in this video today we are going to take Microjig Zero Play 360 Sled Kit and their Match Fit Dovetail Clamp Pro Set and make this. Oh, there's nothing here yet. We are going to make an awesome table saw sled. I'm going to be showing you how I made this uh, ultimate table saw sled using Microjig's clamps, dovetail clamps, and their, their Zero Play 360 sled kit. Pretty exciting stuff. Take a look. Boom! Yeah! Alright, so first of all, you're going to need the base. I like to use 3 quarter inch melamine. Uh, nice and sturdy, nice and flat. Uh, mine's about 25 by 19 inches. You can make yours whatever size you want. All right, so next we need to cut in the dovetail router bit. So first we need to do our relief bit. So first of all, this is the Microjig's relief bit for the dovetail. Um, so here's the dovetail bit. I, it took me 10 minutes to open these. <laughs> I was trying to pry it open. All you have to do is just twist it. I was cutting it, I was prying it. So, so I was thinking, oh, I should make a YouTube video of just how to open these bits. But just twist it, and it'll come right out. Okay, so we need to put in the dovetail grooves, tracks, however much you want. But first of all, so the next microchick sells this relief router bit, and uh, the Dovetail Plant Pro kit comes with the jig. So what's nice is this is just a quarter inch relief bit, and so it actually has a a depth guide, put that in your router at that. And then when you're ready for your dovetail bit, you can put it in the other guide right there. So, so you can get the exact amount. It's always a good idea to do a relief. It, it saves your bit a lot, it saves your dovetail bit from a lot of wear and tear if you do a relief cut first. I mean, you technically could do it on the table saw first, and you could do that, but it's just a nice, Nice thing to do with the relief bit because they have it. So in order to cut the grooves, you need to set up your router. First, okay, so you need to set up your router with the, the relief bit. I'm actually gonna use my CNC just because I have it. If you don't have it, that's not a problem. So you stick it in the router. So what you're gonna need to do is clamp down the board, dry, figure out where you're gonna put it, and then clamp down the boards for your guide. Push it, pull it across. Move your board to the next line. Move it across. Again and again. And then again with the dovetail router bit. So I'm gonna do it on my CNC. Some people say CNC routers are cheating and not real woodworking. So I'm a cheater and I'm not a real woodworker, I guess. <laughs> it's just, it just makes sense, it's faster, it's more accurate. But anyway, this there's nothing wrong with just clamping a guide board down and running your router next to it, going all the way across. But if you've got the tools, you might as well use them. All right, so we just did the relief cuts with the relief bit. Now I'm actually gonna use the, the dovetail Bit. Okay, now the dovetail, dovetail bit has been cut. Um, let me just show you how well this works. Slide those right in. It's coming together. I'm excited. Yeah, so that's what it looks like so far. So I did the lines every two inches. I've seen them three or four. We'll see how well this one works. So yeah, there it is. Okay, to assemble this, you have to put the, the bottom part with the brass screws down. And there's an arrow right there. So that's pointing towards the blade. Then you take the other one the arrow, arrow is pointing again that way. Put that right on top. Then you just take these little button screws. Oh, 
and loosely uh, tighten up. You don't want them too tight because that's going to come later. So just put them in. So you just want them loose so they can still adjust a little bit. Okay, now it's time to install the guide bar on your sled. So they say to measure from your miter slot to your blade and then add 3 8 inches. So in my case that'd be three, 5 and 3 4 inches. And then you mark a line. But when I do that, it comes a little too close to my dovetail groove. So I'm going to move it over a little bit to exactly where I want it. I'm just going to say 5. Because really it, what it comes down to is how close do you want your sled to your blade. And I think about right there is just fine for me. Okay, so what you do, after you mark it, draw a straight line all the way down to where you want your miter. Okay. Then what we're gonna do You can put three dots where you want to drill it four inches apart. Or you can just go like this. Okay, what you can do is you can measure it out or just trace the circles. I had to get a mechanical pencil with long lead to actually fit. So next we need to drill the holes with a half inch Forstner bit. And make sure there's three sixteenths of an inch from the bottom to the top of the, the bottom of the board to the to, to the bottom of the hole. And then you'll just drill the rest all the way through with a quarter inch bit, which is slightly bigger than uh, the bolts that they give you. <clears throat> which is okay, because it just allows a little play to straighten it out. Okay, 3 sixteenths of an inch from the bottom of the board so it doesn't go all the way through. So just a simple trick, instead of measuring it, you just get a 3 sixteenths inch drill bit you set it to uh, that so you don't have to measure and you know it's exactly 3 sixteenths of an inch. Just a simple trick to do. So now you can see they're countersunk. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to just drill the rest all the way through with a quarter inch bit. Now they're all the way through. Okay, now to put this onto the sled, so grab a couple nickels, put them in your slot. This just raises the bar up just to the, the narrowest part of the thing, of the, of the slot. So then what you do, so you push this. You don't wanna, don't push it too hard. I mean, you push the top up because it'll expand. Just push a little bit. Make sure there's no wiggle. And then, <clears throat> line these up with the holes inside, the brass, the brass holes. So take the bolts, put the washer on. Oops. I'm gonna get a screwdriver, stick those in. You don't want to do it too tight yet. 
be able to see if it slides okay. Okay, to square it up, square it up to your fence. Make sure your fence is square first. No wiggle. Okay, now I'm gonna cut a two inch strip to start making the, the fence of the sled. All right, so technically you don't really need a, a back fence if you, just, if you have the, the dovetail grooves because you could just put a board, clamp a board down. Just like that. Just gotta square it up. And really, you could just go like that. it off every time. But if you don't have the clamps, we're just going to build a little fence with the hardware that came with the 360 slide kit. Okay, so I need to make a couple slots in that two inch board that I cut for the sled. Um, you can do it on your router table, your plunge router. I'm going to use my CNC because what I have and it's set up so it makes it a lot easier. But there's many different ways to do it. I just like to be lazy and use a CNC. So there's a couple ways you can make a, a back fence. Either just have a straight board and use the dovetail clamps, or I just cut a two inch strip and I cut some uh, grooves in those. So you just take their dovetail hardware, and slide it in there. Slide that over. Tighten it on. Okay, now it's clamped on good and tight. So I could just line it up with my dovetail grooves because I know those are at 90. Uh, perfect 90 to the fence. Okay, let's say you want to cut this. Boom shakalaka. Okay. So it's coming together. I'm really excited about this sled. It's quite fun. <laughs> um, anyway, like I showed you before, you can have this fence or you can, you can do it on angles. You need to hold stuff. You can make two of these blocks. If you want to do it at an angle, you just figure out what angle you want, tighten it on. Or you can just Tighten that down. You can use that for like a, a stop block or like hey, I want to use this for a stop block. But I prefer the clamps for the stop block just because uh, you can have this, the slight movement. Clamp that down in consistent straight cuts. Back and forth, back and forth. That's exciting. Or something I like. Let's say you have a live edge and you want to cut it straight, or you just want to cut your board at an angle. Let's just say that angle right there. Clamp that bad boy down. Uh, 
That's not going anywhere. Now that is revolutionary. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, this can even make a great tapering jig or just to cut the live edge off or a bad edge off of your, your board. Just clamp it down. It's not going anywhere. Fun stuff. Boom! Yeah! Oh yeah! Hey, don't leave yet. I just wanted to say one more thing. I want to show you how to win a million dollars. Actually, not really. I just wanted to ask you if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post new content. That's about it, but that is worth a million dollars. If there's anything you'd like me to make, or to build, or to review, or to some kind of dance you want me to do, just comment below. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.